Turn the mod off, asshole. We can definitely tell you're a modder. Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Arch 39 bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. And if you don't, re if you haven't realized, or maybe you have realized, I have a new intro. Well, the same video intro, but I also added on the Janky, which is my clan. I guess you call it's not really a clan. It's just a group of friends that play together. And the the first with my name, the one that has my name, the first clip there, the first intro, it has new audio to it. And this came from. I was playing a game probably last week against a, a team, a party, and uh, we were losing it and stuff because they they were pretty good. But but one game I just uh, you know went off on them and just kind of destroyed them. And this one guy sent me a message after the game, or no, during the game he sent me a message calling me a modder, and uh, that's that's him speaking. I, I recorded him in the the Xbox message and then I put that into the intro. And if you don't know, he's saying. Turn the mod off, asshole. You can definitely tell you're a modder. And that was the entire message. So that's my new intro. I thought it was funny that he thought I was a modder, just because I have a 2KD, and um, and I was beating I was beating his team of look at these dumbasses. I was beating his team of his party. So um, I don't mod. I don't boost. I don't. I don't know. I just. I, I don't even really use rapid fire that much. It just feels cheap to me. I kind of like to keep the integrity of the game intact, and by that I don't I mean I don't like to exploit the game, exploit the game mechanics. Oh, and this guy, remember this guy with the gold, with the gold um, MK14. Remember him because he is a kill whore, camping little bitch, and I end up making him rage quit. <laughs> I end up making him rage quit, and and we come back. This game has an epic, epic ending. It was clutched by me in the final seconds, and it was really pretty awesome. So I thought I'd, I'd share it with you. It is a pretty good score as well, but but really I just wanted to kind of have another update video uh, uh, telling you guys about my new intro. Get knifed! New intro, and um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, uh, Super Bowl plans. This, as you know, uh, you probably know, the Super Bowl is coming on this Sunday. 8 o'clock, it's the New England Patriots versus New York Giants. I'm from New York myself, so obviously I'm going to be rooting for the Giants. But I also hate the Patriots. Look at this dumbass. I also hate the Patriots because my, my favorite team is the Rams. My actual favorite team is the Rams. And the Patriots beat the Rams in the Super Bowl in 2001. And they've also spanked us a few times since. Look at that guy. He's still there. That guy with the gold MK14. He's still by that stupid bus. So you don't want to piss me off. Once you piss me off in a game, I just I go after you relentlessly. I kill you over and over and over if you piss me off. And that guy was starting to piss me off. But yeah, like I was saying about the Super Bowl, I'm from New York, and also I really hate the Patriots because the Patriots... Who really likes the Patriots, honestly, if you're not from Boston or if you're not from Massachusetts? Who actually likes the Patriots? Nobody. I mean, Tom Brady's a beast, but I just, uh, I'm not a Patriots fan at all. And I'm from New York, so obviously I'm rooting for the Giants. So that should be a good a good game. We I mean we beat them before in 2007. Was it 2007 the Giants beat the Patriots? I think it was when they were a wild card and they they went all the way and won the Super Bowl. But I got some Super Bowl plans. Uh, I'm probably gonna get some drinks, some wings, some pizza and, and crap like that. That should be awesome. I also really like the Super Bowl commercials. Those are always funny. It's just gonna be a good time. Uh, I don't really know where we're gonna watch the game. Maybe at a friend's house friend's apartment i'm not sure that has cable so we'll probably definitely because my room doesn't have cable uh we just have we just have netflix and we play games that's what we use in movies and stuff that's what we watch the tv for i don't really have cable so we're probably going to be doing that what else um also i kind of wanted to talk a little bit about people with really high kds and and just to not believe the hype because there's going to be players, if you didn't know, you can check people's KD in the lobby if you go to Barracks, um, Kills, or no, yeah, wait, what do you do? You go to Barracks, Leaderboards, Kills, and then you can filter it by the people in the lobby, so you can check what, what the people's KD is. And from my experience, people with like 3, 4, 5 plus KDs, they're not good. <laughs> they camp like little bitches, and they use the Type 90, all of them, it's kind of funny. All of them use the Type 95. I guess I couldn't even kill that guy. 
quick enough. And uh, nice little two piece there. But they all use the Type 95, they all use Assassin, and they all play in parties. And and to prove this to you, I, I went in a lobby yesterday. There's two people with over a 5 KDs. <laughs> One guy had a 5.8, the other guy had like a 5.1 or something. So I looked on the leaderboard because I just joined the game. You can check the leaderboard like of the last game, like their points and stuff. And guess where the guys were? They were in the middle to bottom of the leaderboard. You know why? Because they... Uh, this is kill confirmed, by the way. They were middle to bottom of the leaderboard because they just sat and camped and didn't pick up tags at all. And they probably... Yeah, they probably had a 5KD. They probably had a 5KD that game. They also probably went like 10 and 2. <laughs> you know? it's not That's not very uh, impressive to me. It's just it's just a high KD ratio. It doesn't really mean anything. And usually... the I mean... There's people that, you know, have 2 KDs and stuff, and usually those people actually will rush around and they will, like, mess you up in a major way. But any higher than, like, 3 and, and 4, you know, I mean, they're, nobody's that good. They're just head glitching with Type 95. And uh, so just just don't believe the hype, guys. When a guy says he has, like a, like, a 4 KD, just don't be impressed unless you actually play with him and you see him. Don't. Don't don't just give them the credit right away because I don't know. It's just my experience. Guys with KDs that high, they play like little bitches. That's just me. Also, I'm gonna be continuing to upload Skyrim and stuff like that um, soon. The thing is, like for some reason, the past like the last couple episodes, I'm gonna be uploading like they kind of skip around for some reason. Like the audio is fine. But for some reason, the video kind of jumps every couple of seconds sometimes. Then it'll go away for like 10 minutes, and then it'll come back. I don't know if it's uh, if something was loose on my HD PVR, like the wire or something. But the next the next Skyrim playthrough, is the audio is going to be fine, but it's just going to skip every you know, every once in a while. So I'm just letting you guys know that now. I know it's going to be skipping. Uh, I tried to fix it. I tried to import it in all these different things because it recorded fine. It recorded clean. But when I imported it into to edit it and stuff and add the audio, for some reason, uh, it kind of jumped around and and it was all kind of fuzzy at certain points. It might just be I don't I don't know. I've been having that problem lately. Look at this idiot up here. But yeah, I'm gonna probably upload the Skyrim in a couple days, probably one or two days. Um, what else? Um, I just prestiged again. I'm. The fourth prestige, yeah, I'm fourth prestige. I'm the purple, the purple one, level 50 right now. Still working up. Gonna be getting to 10, obviously. Oh yeah, I had a sentry gun on in this game because I wanted to get like a sentry gun gameplay for just to change it up. But I, I didn't realize that you had to actually throw the care package to have them drop the sentry. I thought you just could, you know, like a like an IMS just pops in front of you. You don't have to throw a care package to get an IMS. So I thought that was the I, I couldn't I didn't even know if that you know so I was just trying to not the sentry but then I'm like oh I have to throw the care package that's dumb and then a guy goes and steals my crate right there see I just took my crate so I was like damn it and then I was mad I'm like mm, mean so I kill that guy that guy really scared me as just a teammate but uh, sit down buddy pick up his oh yeah this is the camper guy this is his gold M4 M14 I really I thought he was gonna come back for revenge so I kind of sat here. Because I wanted to kill him with his own weapon, which is like a it's a, a challenge or whatever. So I was just sitting there for a while. That's why I did that. Pick this guy up, get the H6, and I actually do end up killing this guy with his own weapon. Pretty satisfying, and he does end up rage quitting before um, we win. Or not rage quitting. Like people, there's there's two types of like quitting games. Usually, normal people just go to quit game. But these these really try hard people that want to maintain their stats, they dashboard. So right from the game, they say Xbox Live dashboard, and it doesn't even and it and I, it used to not even register the if you lost or whatever and you quit before the game was over. If you went to the dashboard before the game was over, it would not register your stats because it all happened at the end of the game. So people would look at this. Okay, this is the clutch moment. This is the clutch moment. Ready? Pick up these. Scorpions, right? And so now that it's tied. It's tied right now. Oh, yeah, we're winning. Okay, we're winning by one. It's 30 seconds left. Ready? I threw out this. I don't even know what I threw. Pick that guy up. And I get my sentry, and I was kind of glad I was using a sentry this game, because it kind of helped us win. 
So it's tied right now, right? It's got it's 20 seconds left. Tied. 63-63. <laughs> Two more and you win. So I put the sentry down right there. I see this guy come up, try to destroy it, kill him. So now 64-64. Pick this guy up. Run over, get the tag with five seconds left. Ugh. We win by one with five or something less than ten seconds left, like five. Five seconds left. I, I get a two-piece in the kill cam for the win. And that guy with the MK14, the gold, the, the kill whore, he quit. I forced him to quit because he doesn't want to have a loss on his record. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I thought it was pretty cool gameplay. Leave a like, leave a comment, whatever. Do your thing. See you guys later. Peace.